Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I can show you how to design this uh, dotted letter M in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, first step, I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the fill. I'm gonna swap this so the black is the fill. I'm gonna click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill again. Okay, first step, I gotta go and select the circle, press and hold shift plus alt, create a little circle. Uh, I'm gonna go to the object pattern make and I'm gonna go to the tile type and click on brick by a row and I'm gonna make it wider and taller actually I'm gonna go way beyond I'm gonna go some like this 25 height and let me check the width like 38 in this case I'm gonna click on done I'm gonna delete the circle and I'm gonna select the rectangle and I'm gonna select from the swatches. As you can see here is the new pattern that we created. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna press and hold shift plus alt. From here, I'm gonna go to the object transform scale. And I'm gonna uncheck the transform object. And I'm gonna decrease the uniform, something like this. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna go to object, expand, OK. Right click on group, right click release clipping mask. Um, I'm going to zoom in and what I'm going to do is select the group selection tool and I'm going to select one of the circles. I'm going to go to the select same fill color and now it's going to select all the circles. I'm going to press ctrl x so now we cut and I'm going to press ctrl v here and I'm going to paste the circles here. And if I go back, select this uh, transparent area, as you can see, it has the grids. I'm going to delete these and I'm going to go back to the circle, select them, um, right click group. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to the pathfinder and click on unite. So these little dots is going to disappear. From here, I'm going to create the letter M on this. So I'm going to swap from field to stroke here with this little arrow. I'm going to click on the stroke. I'm going to select the color. I'm going to go with some magenta. And I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to start drawing from here actually. Make sure I'm going to zoom it in. And I'm going to make sure that it's on the, yeah, they intersect in the center. Click. I'm going to zoom out, press and hold shift. And I'm going to go all some around. So it's going to form, actually, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to make sure to put it into the intersection point. From here, as you can see, I can go in this direction. I'm going to go down some around here. There you go. And basically you just go back and voila, we got the letter M. I'm gonna try to center this. So I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna go to the align center and it aligned it perfectly into the center. And I'm gonna do horizontally, I mean vertically. There you go. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna create a new copy, press and hold alt, drag it, right? Also press shift to isolate and press control D again. So it's gonna create a new copy again. So this is going to be the thinnest dots and this is gonna be the thickest dots. So I'm gonna go to the object path, click on offset path. And right now we're on zero three. I'm gonna increase it to I'm going to go with number two, click on two. And as you can see, if I select it, they still got the little circles in it. I'm going to go to the Pathfinder and click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to the Windows and select the Pathfinder. Usually it's not active. I'm going to go here th to the third one, and this is going to be the middle thick circle. So I'm going to go to the Object, Path, Offset Path, and I'm going to decrease it to one. Click OK, select it, click on Unite. What I'm going to do is uh, uh, remain with these two circles, left and right and the center. So it's going to be like three. What I'm going to do is select these dots, right click on group, and I'm just going to delete the unnecessary stuff. Okay, so far it looks something like this. I'm going to select all, right click group, and I'm going to copy paste the stroke colors. I'm going to delete the stroke, copy the thickest circles into this one. So I'm going to delete these. I'm going to select both of these circles and I'm going to click on horizontal align center. And here I'm going to do the same thing. Right click on group and delete the unnecessary circles. I'm going to, I'm going to leave uh, two lines of circles like how I did before one and two and delete the rest. 
like so. Okay, so it looks something like this. I'm gonna select all, right click, group, and I'm gonna select the eyedropper tool, make everything black, and I'm gonna drag this into the small circles. I'm gonna delete the stroke here, select all, and horizontal align center. And it should look something like this. Thanks so much for watching, and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates, and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one, bye-bye.